well, my name is Dan Londero and uh, we are on a uh, Grady White Marlin 300. <music> 30 foot, just over 30 foot to walk around. And uh, you know, it's got a good width and the rail is at a good, good height. Some walk arounds don't have the rail at the right height. So you don't feel that safety. And you know, when you're fishing off the bow and it's a bit rocky, you really need that, it's so critical. It's got a cabin, sleeps about four, got twin 300 yammies on it. She flies, she catches fish sometimes. I love it, she's a beautiful boat. Um, I, I, look, there's not much I can fault about it, to be honest. It's a really beautiful boat. Yeah. So um, the boat I had before this one was a Stabby Craft uh, 2400, um, which I absolutely love that boat. That boat is like a Sherman tank on water. We had such a great summer on it last, last year that um, my wife said to me, it'd be nice to have a slightly bigger boat, something we can probably sleep on for a couple nights, you know, and I mean, this is like some, you know, for, for a guy, this is like some sort of out of body experience that your wife says they want a bigger boat. So I thought, hold that thought. And I went uh, straight in and uh, started doing my research on it. So, you know, you start, you know, ticking boxes and you pr quickly, work out, at least in my case, I worked out that the Grady was, was the boat to have. You know, the finish of this boat is exceptional. Uh, the handling is exceptional. Um, comes with yammies. I particularly wanted yammies. I wanted to have, um, I wanted to have the Hellmaster technology uh, as well. Yeah, so I bought, the, I bought the boat from Short Marine. Uh, I was dealing with Ryan Short there and Sam, uh, they're both brothers. Um, the boat is a bit customised. Uh, we had quite a few things done to it. Um, the dash can only, you know, out of factory, can only take a twin 12 inch screens. Um, I'm getting a bit optically challenged these days, so I want to be able to see the screens from the back of the boat. So I wanted 15 inch screens, so they had to essentially cut the, the dash open and extend it. Uh, which at the time, looking at the job, I thought, uh, oh my God, this is a major, major mistake. But uh, I mean, you look at it, you can't fault it. It's absolutely perfect, beautiful workmanship. Um, and I've got these beautiful 15 inch Furuno screens. You can't put her on the trailer. She weighs four and a half ton. Uh, so she's pretty heavy and she's, you know, a bit too wide for the, uh, the Australian roads. The hull is actually another thing I did extra. The, the hull color goes all the way down to the keel. Um, this is one of the first boats that Grady actually did that way in, in terms of the marlin as well. So today what we did was we uh, took off from Ferguson's Marina and we headed straight out to the artificial reef and uh, we caught some slimy mackerel and, uh, um, and a squid by, by chance. Um, so uh, with those slimies we then came into the harbour and we, uh, we down rigged uh, for kingfish around uh, Middle Harbour and also out around uh, North Head. Um, not with a huge amount of success, unfortunately, today. Um, for me, uh, fishing is all the great memories, you know. My, my best memories are fishing up on Fraser Island with my dad, you know. He was happiest when he was catching fish up on Fraser Island. You know, we're catching Taylor and spotted uh, mackerel off the beach and, and, uh, and the smile on his face. I never saw him so happy. So, so fishing is, it's, um, it's just great experiences, family experiences. You know, you never forget your first big GT or your first big uh, kingfish. You never forget those things. So you carry those memories for life. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.